Hey guys, it's Maya. Oh, I forgot to leave. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my straight to curly hair routine. Um, yeah, my hair was straightened. I got it straightened for prom like three weeks ago, and this is what it looks like three weeks later. It's a mess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash, condition, deep condition. I'm going to be showing you guys my products that I use and just the routine on how I do my hair. So if you guys want to learn how I do this, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is just wet my hair, and I don't really do anything special with this. I just put it under the water, and this is what my hair is looking like after it's all nice and wet. So I already went ahead and did the other side of my hair just so that this video wouldn't be too long, but now I'm going to go ahead and just section off the next side so that I can just work on one section at a time. So the first thing I do with the section is I just go ahead and wet it with some water, and yeah. So for shampoo, I'm using the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. But it has shea butter, which really helps to moisturize your hair. And this shampoo is also really great because it is sulfate-free. The reason why it is so important to have a sulfate-free shampoo because sulfates will decrease the amount of moisture retention in your hair. And if you have curly hair like me, it's already hard to retain moisture. So definitely try and find a sulfate-free shampoo. So for conditioner, I'm using this Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner and it has Australian aloe, jojoba oil, and it is so good guys. It has so much slip and it makes it so easy to detangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a good amount of this conditioner and put it all over my hair. And I'm also going to do a little bit of finger detangling. And yeah, that's all that I do. And then I just move on to the next section. So just to do a little recap of how I wash my hair, first I go ahead and get the section all wet, then I go in with my sulfate free shampoo and focus that on my scalp just to remove some buildup then I go ahead and rinse it out and then I go ahead and put some more conditioner on top just to get some moisture back into my hair and I repeat this process for all the sections So once that is done for all of the sections, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out the conditioner and I'm gonna be finger detangling while I'm doing this because finger detangling is a lot more gentle than using a comb or a brush. And this is how my hair is looking after all the conditioner is rinsed out. But in order to get some extra moisture back in my hair, I'm gonna be adding in a deep treatment mask. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and section my hair and this just makes sure that all of your hair is evenly coated with the deep treatment mask. So when I'm done, I have four sections in total. So the deep conditioner I'm gonna be using today, this is my first time trying it and it is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask and it has castor oil, organic shea butter, and peppermint and this is so good oh my god i'm like stuttering um this is so good guys it really really makes your hair feel so soft and it's a really thick consistency so it really penetrates your hair and gets it to be really nice and moisturized it's really important to deep condition your hair after you have styled it with heat because when your hair has like heat on it you're not really putting that much moisture into it and a deep conditioner will really help to bring back that moisture So I just went ahead and put a generous amount in all of my sections and I let this sit in my hair under a plastic cap for about 45 to 50 minutes. So after about 45 or 50 minutes with my deep conditioner in, I went ahead and took off the cap and my hair felt so good. My curls were so defined and really, really bouncy and my hair just felt so, so moisturized. So I went ahead and just rinsed it out under cold water and rinsing your hair under cold water really helps to close up the pores and really lock in all that moisture. So after I rinsed out my hair, my hair felt so moisturized and just, oh my gosh, it just felt so soft, guys. And the last thing I went ahead and did was I just took some coconut oil and just put that all over my hair and this really helped to lock in all the moisture from the products. 
And this is how my hair is looking after I finish my wash day routine. My hair is so soft and really defined and I feel like these products really help to have my hair bounce back from having that heat on my hair. Also, I'm going to be starting something new on my channel, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to be having like a question of the week. This week's question is going to be, what is your favorite hair product? It could be a natural hair product or like a straight hair product or like anything, like any favorite hair product that you have. And then in my next video, I'm going to be featuring some of the answers. Go ahead and comment down below your favorite hair product and it might get featured in my next video. That is all that I have for you guys today in this video and I will see you guys next week. Next week? I don't know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace! I can see